So my thesis title is Advances in Multicore Fibres for Endoscopy. Um, briefly, that means that uh, in a sort of a conventional manner, a uh, doctor looks down an endoscope and sees what's going on inside the patient. The way my research works, I try to give the doctor some additional information of not only so they can see, but they can tell what the thing they're looking at is made of. And that's where the nonlinear word comes in. A linear process is one where you get back what you put in. So you put any, any uh, visible light in, you get the visible light back. If you put in a different wavelength of light and you get multiple wavelengths of light back, that's where the nonlinear aspect of it comes in. And from that, you can tell what you're looking at. So having this additional information uh, available to the doctors without having to take a biopsy and remove something from the patient, to the patient then look at under a microscope, they're able to do the diagnosis much more quickly and have a much greater range over where they can look because you don't want to be taking large chunks of flesh out of people to look at vast swathes of them. Whereas if you can just move around inside them and do that same analysis, it gives you much more information and you're able to sort of uh, look at places we were unable to look at before because if you can look inside the brain with a very small endoscope or something like that or inside blood vessels and things it's much, just much easier and should be much quicker and aid diagnostics in the long term. I think uh, most typical sort of research cycle would be I would sort of design an optical fibre we then have to make it um, we have the facilities here at Bath where we're able to do that so we design it make it and then I'll go through the process of testing it characterising it seeing how it works and then one, you, once you've got the information back on how it goes, you think, how can I improve it? And sort of re the cycle just goes through like that. That's generally, typically what would happen. Once I've finished my PhD, um, I, well, at the moment I'm quite enjoying the whole academia lifestyle. I enjoy the sort of the freedom you have to try and be creative in what you're doing. Um, it's also quite rewarding when you get that result you're looking for. I quite enjoy that and sort of the, the challenges you sort of come across on a daily basis are quite nice to think, how do I get around this problem? So at the moment I'm thinking a career in academia might well be something I want to do, definitely at least one, maybe two postdocs to see if it is something for me. If not, who knows, but at the moment I'm quite enjoying it and would like to stay in academia. Uh, for any prospective students, I would say that Bath would be a, just a terrific place to come. Um, the facilities of the research, as well, I can only speak about physics, but I know that we're one of the few places in the country that actually have fabrication facilities for what I do. Um, the city itself, it's a beautiful city to walk around during the day, and the nightlife, once you know where to go, great place.